So guys, Android O was released just a few weeks ago and developers are so far that they have already developed ROMs based on AOSP for Redmi Note 3 and many other devices. So I'm Shishank and let's get started. Well, if you want to see the installation part, just skip to this point of the video. So starting with the launcher, there are a couple of things that have been changed. You can now swipe from any part of the screen to get into the app drawer. That's a pretty good change as there are a lot of launchers like Nova Launcher which support gestures and other stuff. And another change to the app drawer is that when you slide the side scroller, you'll see the icons pop up which is a new change to the UI and feels good. Coming back to the home screen, when you long press any icon, you can get access to the widgets as well as some app shortcuts including the app info. Again, this feature was there in Nova Launcher from ages, like the app info and other stuff is the icon packs. Not exactly icon packs, but icon shapes we can say. Well, for changing the icon shape, you just need to go to about phone and tap on build number 7 times for enabling the developer options and now you can go to the launcher settings and change the icon shape. Well, you don't have much of choices, but still, you get them with stock Android, so be happy with it. Or install a third party launcher like Nova Launcher. And the next thing is notification dot. So, to enable this feature, you need to go to settings, apps and notifications, then go to advanced and enable notification access for Pixel Launcher. And now it's very handy to read notifications and dismiss them instead of getting them from the notification bar. Another thing you might have observed by now is the notification bar. It's completely changed and inverted from more black to more white now. So that's a pretty good change. The date and time has been moved to the bottom as well as the settings so that you can access it much easier rather than to swipe twice. And then when you go to settings, you can see the whole mess has been cleaned up. Everything has been categorized well and clean and it looks much more better than the previous version of Android. And you don't get those setting shortcuts anymore when you swipe right from the edge. I think that was completely unnecessary and it's good to see that Google is seeing their mistakes and resolving it. When you go to storage, now you have something called storage manager. When you turn it on, it optimizes the storage by clearing up some photos and uploading it to the cloud. And you have Google Play Protect built in to the software. You can also see that memory has now been moved to developer options. Also you get some new Bluetooth codecs. And here's the new easter egg for Android Oreo, the Octopus. It's pretty fun to play this game, moving it straight from up and down. And it's better than having nothing, which we had in, I mean, nothing in Nougat. It's a pretty fun little thing, go check it out. And there are some UI changes happening in the notification bar. The music player changes its color with the album art. And yes, it works with any music player. Now when you swipe the notifications to the left, you get an option to snooze your notifications for an hour, 15 minutes or so on. You also have the notifications categorized like the play music. Now the picture in picture mode. It's a pretty demanding feature in Android O, but it does not come built in for all the applications like YouTube because you need YouTube Red subscription which is pretty much not available in all the countries. So here's a quick workaround for that. You need to have root for this. So go to your file manager like Solid Explorer which I use. Go to the system folder and then open the build.prop file and just edit this command line so that you can get the navigation bar and get the work going on. So you just need to have to type qemu.hw.mainkeys equals zero. So after that, you need to reboot your device. So after rebooting, you'll have the navigation bar. And also there's this quick animation going on with the wallpaper when you unlock the screen. Now go to settings and about phone and open up system UI tuner there you'll find an option for customizing the navigation bar now click on extra left button type then change it to key code 
and then click on left key code and enter 171 choose any icon you want like I chose the plus sign now go to the YouTube app play the video and just click on that plus button you'll see the picture in picture mode working perfectly with Android O you get to see the new styled emojis which look cool and different and also they resemble to the emojis found on the Facebook messenger I'll give you guys a moment to check out all of the emojis by that time please make sure to subscribe to the channel as that helps me out a lot and then a new thing which I forgot during recording the video is that when you sideload APKs you get a small amount of time to cancel the installation and there's a fancy animation of the progress bar so guys this is an alpha build so expect bugs to be present here and there like the hotspot is not working even though it seems to turn on but trust me it just doesn't work and also VOLT which is important in India due to telecom operators like Jio is not yet working so if you want to just experience Android Oreo then go ahead just install the ROM it's fluid and fast and some minor bugs like I mentioned are present it'll be fixed within a few weeks so let's go to the installation part boot into your recovery and make sure to back up your files before installing the ROM I've dropped the links to the ROM in the description go check it out so browse to the ROM and click on it then swipe to confirm flash after the installation is complete, you're just good to go, reboot the phone. If you want root, then just flash the super SU file, which I'll be linking in the description as well. So guys, it's time to wrap up. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Please make sure to subscribe and make sure to comment below which video you want me to make in the future. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I'm Shishank and I'm signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one.